Hi students, we have seen the first chapter, similarity. In the similarity, we have studied these properties. First, which is related to the area. Second, is BPT. Third, is ABT. And the fourth, is IDPM. If the word area comes in any sum, then you have to use the two things. The first one is area of triangle, another one is AST, means area of similar triangle. But remember, when you have to use the area of triangle, if the diagram is given, and the second thing, if the height is given, then you have to use this formula half into base into height. You will have to use this formula. If the word area is there and this thing is not there, then you have to use area of similar triangle. It says that if the two triangles are similar, then their area is proportion. with their corresponding side square. Here you have to remember the one point. If the word area comes, then don't use these properties. Only you have to think about the area and area. Area of triangle, half into base into height. It comes in the diagram and the height is given. And if it is not given but the area is there, then you have to use area of similar triangle for that, you have to show the triangles are similar, either if the triangles are given similar. Okay, this is the first part of this chapter. Then the second one is BPT, is Basic Proportionality Theorem. What it says that you have to start it from vertex, which is vertex here, A. So from A, we are going to down here, AD upon DB equals to AE upon EC. Remember, if a line is parallel in a triangle, then you have to use BPT. Otherwise, don't use the BPT. ABT, area angle by sector theorem. And what it says that, if the angle by sector is there, then you have to start it from that angle by sector point. QP upon QR equals to, you have to start from the upper, PS upon SR. And remember, if the angle bisector is given, then and then you have to use this theorem, angle bisector theorem. And the last part of this chapter is intersection of three parallel lines. If the three parallel lines are there, then and then only you have to use this theorem. It says that PA upon AC equals to QB upon BD. So remember these five points. If you bi-hatted these five points, then you are able to solve any sums. Now we are going to start the sum odd questions, means higher order thinking questions. The first example is here. In the diagram PQR, X, M and Y, M are the angle bisector and you have to prove that X, Y is parallel to Q, R. Always remember the point. You have to ask the question to prove when the lines are parallel. Yes, we know that. It is a converse of BPT. If the ratio is equal, then the lines will be parallel. So which ratio you have to show that? Px upon xq equals to Py upon Yr. It means your target is, if you show that Px upon xq equals to Py upon Yr, then these lines will be parallel automatically. So let's start the proof. So what is given? The angle by sector. Always remember, you have to split the figure for this one. This is P, this is the M, this is Q, and this is the X. 
So in diagram you have to write it in triangle PMQ segment QM MX is an angle bisector. This is given and therefore by angle bisector theorem. Don't write the shortcuts, always you have to write it in full form. So what it says, you have to start it from the angle bisector. So MP upon MQ, MP upon MQ equals to, you have to start from the upper, PX upon XQ. Give the number one. Same on this side, this is PMR and this is an angle bisector. So in triangle PMR segment MY is an angle bisector. So therefore by angle bisector theorem you have to write it from which point? Angle bisector point. So MP upon MR equals to PY upon YR. Always remember you have to start from the angle bisector point, move upper side and then you have to write this one. Okay, give the number second. In this one, what you observe? It is given that MP upon MQ equal to PX upon SQ. Second you got it, MP upon MR equal to PY upon YR. And what is our target? PX upon SQ equal to PY upon YR. Here I got it, PY upon YR in the second, PX upon SQ in the first one. But I have to show that these two are equal, then that line will be parallel. How can I show that? If when the right hand side is equal, if the left hand side is equal. Is that left hand side is equal? No. Because here is MQ and here is MR. So what to do? Here in the given, it is given that MQ is equal to MR. So you have to write it here. MQ equals to MR. This is given. So now observe this. MP is same. MQ is equal to MR, so therefore left hand side is also equal. So from 1, 2 and 3, we will get PX upon XQ equals to PY upon YR. And therefore by converse of BPT segment X, XY is parallel to segment QR. Understood this one? Let's start the example number second. Read the example. In triangle ABC, it is given that two area of triangle ADE is equal to area of collateral DBCE. And you have to prove that BC is equal to root 3 DE. The one thing I have not written here that DE is parallel to BC. Now, how can I prove this one? So if you read the given, the word area comes. And in first time, if I told you that if the word area comes, then you have to use, you have to think the two properties. One is area of triangle half into base into height and second one is AST means area of similar triangle. Can I use half into base into height? So think it. There are two triangles doesn't have equal height. So I'm not going to use half into base into height. So my remember the remaining point is AST means area of similar triangle. But it has a condition that triangle should be similar. So let's start the triangle to show the triangles are similar. So we have to write it in triangle ADE and triangle ABC. First write down the name of the triangle that you have to show the similar. Okay. 
Now you have to find out which angles are given. So for that, you have to split the figure. I am going to split the figure. This is ADE and this is ABC. So what do you observe? Here A is a common angle and this line is parallel to this one. Therefore these two are the corresponding angles. So I got it this. So I can write it angle A is congruent to angle A because this is a common angle. I have written the shortcut. Don't write the shortcuts. Then angle ADE is congruent to angle ABC because they are corresponding angles and therefore triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC by AA test of similarity. Therefore these two triangles are similar. Now I am able to use the theorem by AST area of similar triangle. What it says? Area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle ABC equals to AD square upon AB square. Either you can write it DE square upon BC square. Either you can write it A square upon AC square. But which I need? I need BC and DE only. Therefore, I am going to write it only DE square upon BC square. But I want to value, find out the values of this one. So I need the value of this one. Is that its value is given? No, its value is not given. For that, they have given that 2 area of triangle AD equal to area of collateral DBC. So for that, give the number 1. And the given thing is 2 area of triangle ADE equals to area of collateral DBCE. This is given. But here they have given the collateral and I need only triangle. So how can I convert this collateral into triangle? Yes, we know that area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle ADE plus area of collateral DBCE. This ABC is made out of ADE and collateral DBC. Now we can substitute the value of area of collateral DBC here. So you will get it area of triangle ABC equals to area of triangle ADE plus 2 area of triangle ADE. But it? So here we get area of triangle ABC equals to 3 area of triangle ADE. So now ABC goes on that side and 3 comes on this side. So you get it 1 upon 3 equals to area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle ABC. Now we can substitute this value in the first one. So you get it area of triangle ABE upon area of triangle ABC equals to DE square upon BC square. Substitute the value here. Its value is 1 upon 3 equal to DE square upon BC square. Now we can take the square root of both sides. So I have written by TSR when taking square root of both sides. 1 square root is 1. 3 square root is root 3. Its square root is DE and its square root is BC. Now cross multiply you will get it BC equals to root 3 into DE. So from this you will understand how to use the properties theorems. So let's start the sum number 3. In read the sum in triangle ABC it is given that AC is parallel to MX and AB is parallel to MX. And you have to prove that TX square 
equal to TV into TC. I want to solve this up. So I'm going to use all the properties. So I'm asking the question to this one. Is that area is there? I think so no. So I'm not going to use area of triangle, half into base into height. Second, which is related to the area, is AST, area of similar triangle. Again, I'm not going to use because the area is not given. Then, which is the next one? BPT, basic proportionality theorem. Yes, these lines are parallel. So, in my mind, I'm going to use the BPT. But if I use the BPT, see, if you split the figure, then you will observe this. This is A, B, C and this is MX. Then what do you get? If you start from this one, CM upon MA and CX upon XB. Is that any point is there which is related to BPD? No. So lines are parallel but I am not going to use BPD because of this. Which is the next one? Is an angle bisector theorem. Is that any angle bisector theorem, theorem is given? Angle bisector is given? No. Next, IPPL, intersection of three parallel lines. Is that three lines are parallel? No. Then, which is the last point? How can I do this? The last point is that if all these four properties are not there, then you have to show the triangles are similar. But now, which triangle? So I need TX, I need TB and I need TC. I need these three things. So TB, TX and TC. So here I am going to split the figure. This is T, M and C. And in that one, NX is parallel to MC. So from this one, I will get a T, Tx also and Tc also. Then which is another figure? I need Tb. So I am going to take this triangle. This is T, this is M, this is X and this is NB. So here I will get a Tb. So first thing, you have to split the figures then show that these triangles are similar. So let's start in triangle TFX and triangle TMC. So here you will find that the T is a common angle and these two angles are corresponding angle. So in proof, we have to write it in triangle T and X and triangle T and C. Angle T is congruent to angle T because it is a common angle. Don't write the shortcut again. Angle T and X is congruent to angle T and C because these are corresponding angle. Therefore, triangle T and X is similar to triangle T and C by a a test of similarity and therefore if the triangles are similar then sides are in proportion so tn upon tm equal to mx upon mc equals to tx upon tc is the number one now you have to show that these two triangles are similar again the t is common and these two angles are corresponding angles so you have to write it here in triangle t and b and triangle TMX. Angle T is congruent to angle T because this is a common angle. Angle T and B is congruent to angle TMX because these are corresponding angles. Therefore, triangle T and B is similar to triangle TMX by AA test of similarity. And you know that if the triangles are similar, then sides are in proportion. Tn upon Tm, Nb upon Mx, and equals to Tb upon Tx. And give the number second to this one. So what do you observe from 1 and 2? 
see this tm upon tm tm upon tm this ratio is same so we will get it tx upon tc equal to td upon tx so from this we can write it from 1 and 2 we will get it tx upon tc equals to tb upon tx so cross multiply you will get it tx square equals to tb into tc and this is your answer